Hi, in this video, I will continue to add some functional field to our duty form. Let's look at our form. Okay, uh, this is a duty form. And I want to show uh, total uh, records uh, uh, bottom of this grid. It's not, uh, there are lots of different ways to show uh, these kind of uh, data. Uh, the best way, of course, using a part, uh, but uh, for uh, training purpose, I will create a design object and assign them uh, a, a value and show them uh, to you. Let's start to do that. First of all, we need to add some uh, group here. Now, as you can see, we have a grid here. I want to add a, a group and add, a, 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 add a integer values to bottom of this grid. For that, let's create a new, new group first. And creating this one group. And I will add a new group in this one. Okay. Now of inside this group I will add a new uh, new element. This element is uh, integer. Uh, the, the, there will be integer. Let's create an integer field. Okay. And uh, I want to show all statutes. So let's look at our base num. Duty status base num. And I have one. We have seven different uh, status. Let's duplicate this one. Okay. Now I have seven integer control. Uh, for I want to assign them uh, the number of uh, related record. For that, I need to select this record uh, auto declaration yes. Okay. Now also uh, for this group, uh, let's. Give a total number. Okay. And let's change the column seven and Yes, K. 
exception. Okay. Now our design objects are ready. Let's assign them uh, a value. Uh, for this, I will write a method here. Let's create a new method. And this method calculate calculate a b okay okay i want to uh, write a uh, Query, select query, which counts uh, records and group bytes uh, the status of duty. Uh, for this, uh, let's we need a, a table buffer. Let's. Uh, let's write a select. Uh, I can write uh, seven different select or one Y select and assign them a proper value. Uh, all uh, this all are true. Um, I'm not sure which one I want to show. Um, let's write a Y select and switch and this will a good example for training. Maybe it's not best best practice, but uh, it's better for teaching. Maybe let's let's write Y select. Okay, this is a good example of uh, group by and count a record. Mm. Now let's uh, write a switch case and assign the, these values to uh, our integer uh, object. It's a very simple uh, code. I assign the calculated uh, value to this uh, cancel control value, and I will duplicate this for every file.
Okay. I think I write over here. Let's get our name. Now, it's okay, but we didn't uh, write this controls captions. Uh, let's write this one too. Okay, let's save and build our project and uh, run. Now it's open, but every number is zero because we forget to call our method. <laughs> Sorry, let's call our method first. So we, we write this calculate method, but we didn't call from uh, anywhere. We need to call it from uh, a place. Best way to do this is in it, of course. We need to call uh, after super. Uh, for, uh, for this calling, also we need to use element. Mm. Now let's run again. Now it's opened. Let's look at our project. Um, I have two suspended records and it shows me two. And I have one test three records here. And now it's correct. Let's change. Uh, for example, let's change these records. Mm, cancel. After I changed, as you can see, it's not working. Let's refresh our form. Okay. Now it's working. So maybe we need to call our calculate uh, totals method after this change status. It's, it's needed. Let's do that too and finish our uh, video. Now for this one. Before this. Maybe after copying record, this one too. Okay. For this, I want I want to uh, talk to you about coding. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's best practice to write codes in tables and class. But for this uh, training, I am I want to show how you can write codes for in forms and in forms you can write everything but forms uh, are not uh, the right place for uh, uh, for inserting new records or uh, more complicated uh, uh, jobs but you can write this small and uh, not heavy codes it's not problem, but uh, be aware of uh, this. Uh, form codes can be slow, 
because of that, if the transaction and the volume of the data is big, you should use class for this kind of things. Uh, and this was the last example of our duty form. Uh, I will continue with our activity uh, table and activity form, and this uh, form has more complex functionality. I hope it's helping Happy Taxi.